In this installation of my VLOOKUP tutorial series, I'll be talking to you about data validation, which is just a fancy term for a way to make a dropdown in your spreadsheet, which you can use in combination with a VLOOKUP and then dynamically be able to change a value based on your dropdown selection. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm Vanessa and this is Data Savvy TV. This is a channel where I talk about data analytics, which includes topics in Excel, databases, SQL, R, data mining, data visualization, and lots of other things. So if that's something that's interesting to you, just click the subscribe button below and stay tuned for new content coming out real soon. So let's get into the video. So in this spreadsheet, I've already created a dropdown, and this is giving me a list of drinks here from my menu up above, and below this, I have created a VLOOKUP that looks at whatever drink I've chosen in this menu and then changes the price based on, let's see, something that's a different price based on this selection. So, caramel macchiato is $3.95. A cafe latte is $2.95. Freshly brewed coffee, $1.95. So, we're gonna combine data validation and VLOOKUP together so that you can change these values dynamically and your VLOOKUP will also um, return the correct price when you change that value. So from the last VLOOKUP video, we still have um, a coffee menu with the drinks here in the first column, the price for a tall drink, the calories for a tall drink, the price for a grande drink, calories, large drink, calories again. And just for a quick review, a VLOOKUP is made up of four different parts. It's made up of a what or the lookup value. In our example, it's the drink you want where, so where would I find this information? So in the formula it's called a table array. For us it's this whole menu, okay? And then the third argument is the column number, which typically, I've added them here just for reference, but you typically wouldn't see these here. You can just type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yourself, and then exact or near match, which is just denoted by a true or false or one and zero. What we're gonna do is we're going to create a dropdown of this list of items right here. And the way you do that, you have to go to your ribbon here, find the data tab, and then click data validation. So what this is, it tells Excel what kind of data can go into this particular Excel. If you want it only to be able to type whole numbers, only to type decimals, and have those types of like limits or restrictions on a particular cell in your spreadsheet, you're able to do that with data validation. But one really nice feature in here is being able to do a list. A list would just literally be a drop down menu. So a source is just where the information you want in your list is stored. So we're going to select the drinks and then hit OK and then you see if I click in the cell there's a little drop down arrow and this is showing this list of drinks that I picked as my source in the data validation source field. So now we can pick any item and I'm going to build the VLOOKUP for finding the grande price for these drinks. So I'm going to use the insert function button. This is really convenient because this will walk you through how to build any function or formula in Excel. So our lookup value is our what, which is the drop down menu we just created right here. The table ar array is our where, which is this menu up here. 
column index number, since we want the grande price, I'm going to enter 4, since that's where the grande price is found. And then I'm going to type in false, because I want an exact match. The other option, too, is to enter a 0, which you can see over here on the right side also means false. I'm going to click OK. So right now this is showing a zero because latte macchiatos only come in the tall size, so there's no grande price. But if we change this to say, oh, cafe mocha, you'll see that the price comes back as 415. So I'm going to walk through these steps one more time so that we have a selection for a drink at the tall price, the grande price, and the venti price. So to create that drop down, again, you go to the data tab, data validation. Under the settings tab in the allow menu, select list, click into source, click on the cells that you want to be in your drop down menu, and then click OK. So here we have that drop down menu again. I could have also copied and pasted this to here. And I'd have the same drop down. So that's another option if you have something where you're having the same drop down but a different value returning. For the VLOOKUP, I'm going to type it out this time. So I'm going to start with an equal sign. Start with the letter V, and this is like a little tip that you don't have to type the entire name of a function, you can just start typing it, and then you get this menu of different functions, in this case, that start with the V. So I'm going to double click on V lookup. I'm going to start with my lookup value, which is the what. So that's our drop down menu here, comma. Table array, again, that's just our menu, comma. Column index number, this time I want the venti price, so that column is going to be column 6, comma, and a 0 for false, for exact match, close parentheses, and enter. So now, let's see if I check out the Cafe Mocha line. Yep, 475 is the price of a venti. So if we want to see the price of a cafe mocha for all sizes, let's just change this first one to cafe mocha. 345, 415, and 475, which if we go up here, same answers. 345 for a tall, 415 for a grande, 475 for a venti. Let's change this to cappuccino. So now that changed dynamically for the cappuccino prices. So that's how you can combine both a drop down list with a VLOOKUP formula so that you can dynamically change your what or the this part the look at value without having to write a new formula so thank you for joining me here on data savvy tv if this was valuable to you definitely hit up that like button and grab the link below and share this with anyone that would also benefit from this video until next time keep learning keep building up your skills and stay pumped about data analytics see you again soon in this video, I'll be showing you la la la. Okay. Ah. Kim, I'm winging it and I don't like it. <laughs>